From cases that ignited the Me Too movement to shocking acts of violence, these celebrities prove that fame and fortune don't place anyone above the law. We often put celebrities on a pedestal, blinded by the glitz and glamour of their public personas, but behind the carefully crafted images, some harbor dark secrets. These are the stories of individuals who went from walking red carpets to pacing prison cells. So buckle up because we're about to delve into the dark side of fame, exploring 11 cases of celebrities who will spend the rest of their lives behind bars. For years, Danny Masterson was best known for his role as Stephen Hyde on That 70s Show. However, behind his on-screen persona, a much darker truth was lurking. In 2017, multiple women accused Masterson of sexual assault, sparking an investigation. The accusations painted a disturbing picture of Masterson using his celebrity status to silence his victims. In 2023, Masterson was found guilty of drugging and sexually assaulting two women in the early 2000s. The judge handed down a sentence of 30 years to life in prison, marking the end of Masterson's career and freedom. Harvey Weinstein was a titan of Hollywood, a man whose influence over the film industry seemed untouchable. But Weinstein's empire began to crumble in 2017 when a New York Times expose revealed decades of sexual abuse allegations against him. Actresses like Ashley Judd and Rose McGowan shared their harrowing stories of Weinstein's predatory behavior. The Weinstein scandal ignited the Me Too movement, exposing the pervasive nature of sexual harassment in Hollywood. Weinstein's trial in 2020 20 was a landmark moment with gut-wrenching testimonies from his victims. The jury found Weinstein guilty of rape and sexual assault, sentencing him to 23 years in prison in a separate Los Angeles trial in 2022. He received an additional 16-year sentence. Weinstein remains incarcerated, facing the prospect of spending the rest of his life behind bars. Canadian actor Ryan Grantham, known for his roles in Diary of a Wimpy Kid in Riverdale, seemed to have a promising future. However, in March 2020, Grantham fatally shot his mother, Barbara Waite, in their home. He then staged the scene to look like an accident before driving away with weapons, intending to assassinate Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Grantham ultimately turned himself in to the Vancouver police. In 2023, Grantham was sentenced to life in prison with no chance of parole for 14 years. The judge emphasized the need to protect the public from someone capable of such violence. Michael Jace, best known for his role on The Shield, committed a horrific act of violence that forever tarnished his legacy. In 2014, Jace fatally shot his wife, April, in their Los Angeles home while their two young sons were present. The boys testified against their father in court, painting a chilling picture of Jace's actions. Jace initially claimed the shooting was accidental, but eventually confessed to the murder. In 2016, he was found guilty of second-degree murder and sentenced to 40 years to life in prison. Jace will spend the majority of his remaining years behind bars. Corey C. Murder Miller, a prominent figure in hip-hop, saw his career overshadowed by legal troubles. In 2002, Miller was arrested and charged with the fatal shooting of 16-year-old Steve Thomas. Despite maintaining his innocence, Miller was convicted of second-degree murder in 2009 and sentenced to life in prison. The trial was fraught with controversy with questions raised about witness credibility and alleged police misconduct. Over the years, Miller has launched numerous appeals, garnering support from 
celebrities like Kim Kardashian. However, his convictions have been upheld, leaving him to face a life sentence behind bars. William Hayden, the patriarch of Sons of Guns, cultivated an image as a tough-talking businessman. However, in 2014, Hayden was arrested and charged with aggravated rape and other disturbing charges. The accusations painted a horrifying picture of Hayden as a sexual predator who had abused two young girls. In 2017, Hayden was found guilty on all charges and sentenced to life in prison plus 40 years. His appeal, filed in 2019, was swiftly denied. Hayden will spend his remaining days behind bars as a convicted child rapist. Eric Naposki, a former NFL linebacker, conspired with his lover, Nanette Packard, to murder her millionaire boyfriend, William McLaughlin. In 1994, driven by greed, Naposki fatally shot McLaughlin inside his Newport Beach home. Despite their attempts to cover their tracks, investigators uncovered the affair and Naposki's role in the murder. In 2009, nearly 15 years after the crime, Naposki and Packard were both convicted of first-degree murder. They were sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Naposki's life of betrayal and greed ended in a prison cell. Ronald Ray Diggs Heron, an aspiring rapper from Brooklyn, used his music to portray a life of violence and crime. Heron was the leader of the Bloods-affiliated murderous Mad Dogs gang, linked to drug trafficking, extortion, and multiple murders. His lyrics, often graphic and detailed, were used as evidence against him in court. In 2014, Heron was convicted on charges including racketeering, murder, and drug trafficking. He was sentenced to multiple life terms in prison, Heron's music serves as a chilling reminder of the dark reality he brought to life. Tim Norman, son of the matriarch of Welcome to Sweetie Pies, became embroiled in a murder-for-hire plot. Driven by greed, Norman orchestrated a plan to kill his 21-year-old nephew, Andre Montgomery Jr. Norman hired an exotic dancer to lure Montgomery to his demise. On March 14, 2016, Montgomery was fatally shot in St. Louis, Missouri. Investigators uncovered incriminating evidence linking Norman to the murder plot. In 2023, Norman was found guilty of murder for hire and sentenced to life in prison. The man who once charmed viewers was exposed as a cold-blooded killer. Harrison Norris Jr., known as Hardbody Harrison, was exposed as a predator who exploited vulnerable women. In 2001, Norris was arrested in an FBI sting operation targeting a human trafficking ring. Norris had forced numerous women into prostitution, controlling them through threats and violence. In 2007, Norris was convicted on multiple counts of sex trafficking, conspiracy, and racketeering. He was sentenced to life in prison. Norris will never again have the opportunity to prey on vulnerable women. Keith Wright, a former NFL player, embarked on a series of violent home invasions after his football career ended. In 2010, Wright terrorized residents of Chesterfield County, Virginia, holding them hostage and subjecting them to horrific acts of violence. The crime spree left a trail of traumatized victims. In 2012, Wright was convicted on 18 felony counts, including robbery, abduction, and forcible sodomy. He was sentenced to more than 114 years in prison. Wright will never again walk free. The stories we've discussed are grim reminders that fame and fortune are not shields against accountability. These individuals, once celebrated for their talents, now stand as cautionary tales. It's easy to get caught up in the allure of celebrity, 
but they are just as flawed as anyone else. When their darkness manifests in acts of violence or exploitation, it's crucial they are held accountable. Remember these stories the next time you're captivated by celebrity glitz and glamour. True justice demands accountability regardless of who is standing in the dock. 